Today, we're going to see how to make three billy goat crafts. Let's collect all our materials. We need one sheet of brown paper and one sheet of white paper. We also need some scrap paper. I used white, but black or brown would work too. We also need two paper plates. You can make so many fun crafts with paper plates. Grab your favorite scissors and coloring tools, like paint, markers, or crayons. And we also need a paper towel roll, cut in half. And some brown yarn, cut into three inch pieces. Oh, and grab your glue. We always need glue, don't we? Now we have all our materials, so let's begin. We can start crafts one and two at the same time. Get the scrap white paper and a dark marker. Use the paper towel roll to trace two U shapes on the paper. Be sure to leave space between them. These are going to be your goat faces. Next, lay a ruler above the U shapes and draw a straight line like this. Connect the lines to each side of the U shapes. It should look like this now. If you add a little nose and eyes to these shapes, you can see that we get two goat faces. Cut the faces out and color them brown if you like. Draw some horn shapes on white paper and then cut out the horns too. Glue those horns on and ta-da, cute little goat faces. Now find your brown piece of paper and draw an uppercase letter G. Make it almost fill the whole sheet. Once you've drawn it, cut it out and glue it onto the full sheet of white paper. Now choose one of your cute goat faces to glue on the G. Use some of the leftover brown paper to cut four rectangles for legs and a little triangle for a tail. Add a beard, and you have a G is for goat. Now, for craft number two, you need one half of your paper towel roll and your yarn pieces. Bend the roll just a little so it sits flat on the table. Use your glue to cover the roll with yarn. This part is pretty sticky, but also lots of fun. Next, Glue the other goat face onto the end of your roll. If you want legs for your goat, cut the other half of the paper towel roll down the center, then snip two little pieces off to glue on his legs. There, goat number two is done. Last but not least is goat number three. This craft uses the two paper plates. Color both plates brown. I decided to use paint, which meant I had to wait for the paint to dry before I made my third goat. When your plates are brown, fold them both in half. One we will use as the body of the goat. On the other one, draw and cut out a head, four legs, and some horns for your goat. Glue those all on and use some yarn and a dark marker to add eyes, nose, and hooves. I added some yarn swirls for fun. And that's it. All three goats are done. Our very own three Billy Goats Gruff. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. Join us next week for more craft ideas.